Alright, hello and welcome back dudes and dudettes, Western Max here, no, just kidding, Dino Dud here, bringing you another Grounded Tips and Tricks, we're actually like this time a guide. So, some of you have been asking me where the Black Ant Hill is and the easy way to get in it, most of you have mentioned a sandbox, but I'm going to show you the two, there's two, not four, <laughs> entrances of how to get into the Black Ant Hill, uh, the most dangerous path being the sandbox, but you can get into it a little easier without worry. So, let's go ahead and begin. As you can see, we are at a good location that everyone should know. It's the very beginning, so we'll hold the map anyway just, just in case. So right next to here, next to the very first field station from where you spawn, next to the baseball. Just want to show you all that. And we're going to go ahead and start by going all the way to the pa first path, which is actually not in the sandbox. I want to show you guys the safer path first. That way you guys know and can see that it's not that bad. Um, the one that you're really going to have to worry about though is the sandbox one, which if you're strong enough and you feel comfortable enough, it's not that bad. Um, you can even jump in a little easier. It's actually not quite as deadly. The main thing you'll have to worry about is one antlion sometimes being at the top of the sandbox. He's not always there, but most of the time, let's be honest, he is. He usually meets you at the zip line. You know, like when uh, you watch 300, if you have, and they're like, meet us at the gates, at the hot gates. And, uh, yeah, he's there waiting. <laughs> Forget 300, you got one. And he is that uh, tough in the beginning. Uh, let's go ahead and go this way. Now, you can go on like a set tape. I would in the beginning if you haven't already closed off the haze. Like if you haven't closed off the little haze container up there. Uh, I have it closed off, so I'm more comfortable going through here. Because... I am not being hit by haze effects. Keep running. As you can see, we are now here near the picnic table. I'll show it on the map. We're almost near the leaning shovel. But we're going to go ahead and keep continuing to the sandbox. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to take us towards the sandbox. And you're going to see it here. It should be a pretty noticeable marker. Also, it should be a very noticeable uh, monument on your map. Now, you're going to go to the sandbox. Keep to the left side of it, though. And we're going to make a break for this side. Now, going this way is going to lead you down to the back of a sandbox. Now, I know you're thinking, okay, sure, that's where the garbage can and stuff is, Dino. That's where the trash bags are. What about it? It's actually the second place of how you get to the Black Ant Hill entrance. It's actually pretty noticeable. As you can see right here, I like to look through here and see all the goodies that are in there. <laughs> But anyways, this is going to take you to second Black Ant Hill, so you don't have to go into the sandbox and risk your life fighting the ant lions. And this, the way I'm going to show you to get through it, you have to just run away from one ant lion. It, it shouldn't be too hard. Make sure you carry a dandelion tuft when you do the second way. Uh, but, you know, just to let you know that there is a second way, and it is a little dangerous still, but it's still not as dangerous as it could be almost there it's just taking a little bit to get there now the way I'm going to take you is the way through none of the garbage effects so that way it doesn't kill you because the garbage thing if you do not have a gas mask will kill you fast and I mean it is incredibly fast uh, what this is going to do is going to take you to a nice secure location it's not too bad every now and again you get a black soldier ant here so if you need a black ant mandible for maybe your uh, black ant sword, if you're just starting out, it's not a bad place to go. Just be careful. He is a bit tough. I recommend a mosquito needle against him first. So as you're going to see here, the donut is right here. We are now at this part where you see the black ant hill lab, which we're above it, to be honest. So you're not going to have that yet. But as you can see, we're near all of this extra stuff. You know, the donuts right here. You got this overturn thing here. You're going to keep going. You can go under, you can go under or around it. You're going to see that this gas is right here, and I know you're like, oh god, what if it hits me? Good news is, it actually will not hit you as long as you keep close to the trash bag. So as you can see, I just barely made it around it. We're going to follow the ants a little bit, go around. Now you're going to come up to the computer back here. It's a really old school, thrown away computer. Like, Let's be honest, I, I, I had one when I was a lot younger, and... Uh, that might well probably be in the garbage too, better than I know, <laughs> if I still had one. So as you can see, we're at the computer, the trashed AARTZ3000. We're going to keep going this way. And right here is the first entrance to the Black Ant Hill. This is your very first entrance 
as well as the super easy, safe, secure way in. Be warned, there can be some black ants waiting for you. Now, the next place is going to be the sandbox, and I will take you dudes and jets to it in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and skip through and take us back to the field lab so I can lead you there from the get-go. All right, now, dudes and jets, I decided to actually come over to the Leaning Shovel on the map, as you know. Uh, most of us have already found it, um, so there is two easy ways. You can either build up onto the sandbox, as in my man, Cra uh, Last Borns. I don't know why I was thinking of Craftopia. I think it's because I just got done recording. But Lastborn had a video that just came out recently that shows him building up to the, you know, perimeter of the uh, sandbox. You can do that. Or, I personally recommend taking the time to make one bomb. And there's going to be a rock down here holding this up. Just blow it up. That's going to, in turn, take the shovel down. You're going to climb up it. Now, I would recommend bringing in 12 spider silk, as it's what it will cost to build the zip line from the picnic table to the sandbox you do have an option to you know like I said build up to the sandbox might be easier for you whichever you prefer you know take, do whatever you want like I said I would prefer and think it's easier just to make the bomb real quick because it's super cheap I mean brat burst are um, if I can get it over there here we go we'll go down scroll down so brat burster two fungal growth one ant egg and four grass chunks dry grass chunks it's not too expensive, and honestly, with the uh, once you close out the haze, it gets extremely easy to get fungal growth now. Um, and haze things are everywhere now, so be warned when you close the haze, they will be quite literally everywhere, and they will not leave you alone. Uh, actually, makes dry grass chunk farming quite easy. I'm not gonna lie. But we're gonna keep going and going and going. We're gonna ignore the bees that are behind us. We could easily fight them, but we're not here to do that. We are here to continue with the video and show what's going on. I will also warn you, dudes and dads, if the volume's a little loud, I apologize. Every time I do start my game, I've noticed that I've had to redo the volume. So make sure you guys check that before you start playing. You know, make sure you turn on the volume to recommend levels that you feel are comfortable. Uh, I don't know if it's just a glitch thing or something, because I have to keep doing it every single time, but. Hopefully it gets fixed soon. I'm not really sure. But anyways, you're going to come up here to this part. These bees are falling forever. Okay, there they got off. So you're going to be on top of the picnic table, and you're going to be right at this field lab or field station. You're going to have the zip line here. Like I said, it's going to cost you 12 spider silk to do it. <laughs> yeah! Again, I warn you, there can be an ant line on this edge. He's usually really close. He's either going to be behind you, so on the, our right side, or in front of you on our left side. Just kind of look for the little big spot he's got. You, I killed him recently. I killed all of them recently, but they still pop up every now and again. So anyways, dudes and dads, we're going to continue down this little thing. You can't go into there. Um, if you do come here and you don't have any antlion gear, I recommend trying to get at least a piece of it. Or come here at night. It's a lot safer. There is a wolf spider, as you can see, right under there, under that little uh, Lego block. So be careful of that. He is, uh, he is there. The antlions do make quick work of them if they get into a fight, but still, like, for your safety, if you're not great at fighting wolf spiders, I recommend, you know, trying to be careful around there at night, because they do wander at night, so be careful of that. But as you can see, you can see a little mound right there. It's right there. We're actually getting very close to it. This, like I said, is going to be the safest way for you to get there. Be warned, you might run into the wolf spider or an antlion still. I can't recommend that you won't. But here it is, dudes and dudettes, and I found it before, but the game's been weird here lately, and it makes me find it again. It's kind of odd. But anyways, dudes and dudettes, like I said, this is the second Antlion Hill. It's a little bit more dangerous path. But if you guys like the video, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and your family, and I will catch you, dudes and dudettes, in the next video. Stay classy.